Hi everyone! Hi. Welcome to this episode of Catching Up with the Osaka Stationery. So casual. So casual. I almost missed that. Oh my god, you did miss it. You, <laughs> you frightened me. <laughs> no need to yell, Neil. <laughs> um, I hope everybody is great yeah. and relaxed, unlike Neil, who's <laughs> a little tense. Um, um, I wasn't expecting to be on so many times. You, <laughs> I, was, I thought you were going to say you weren't expecting me to say so casual. <laughs> it's literally what we say yeah. every time. Um, I hope everybody's great. Thank you for tuning in again. Um, as you can see, Neil is here. We have um, all been infected by Jacob in right. our family. <laughs> and, yeah, Jacob is feeling much better, but um, we're all, we have a bug now. So uh, we're keeping our distance from everybody. <laughs> I feel yeah. like this is this is like I'm gonna just be saying this like every week. This That's is right. like my tenth time saying it. It's Wait, now crazy. your mom is sick. Now my mom is sick. Actually, my dad is sick too. I just got off the phone with my mom, and yeah. my dad is sick too. Yeah. Wow. <sighs> yeah. So um, the woes of child daycare. Yeah. Um, but we have some exciting announcements, and I'm looking forward to this week's episode of Catching Up, which yeah. we have new things to share with you all. News. Um, a great Yoseka ask Yoseka anything question to talk about. Thank you for all your all of your submissions yeah, last you. week. Yeah. Um, so let's get started. Yeah. Um, last week we talked about how we were heading to the pen ceremony, and yeah. we had a very successful pen ceremony last week with all of our team members. Um, a little happy hour, and yeah. uh, basically everybody got to choose the. Um, one of the Yoseka Origin, Refresh, or Home fountain right. pens yeah. to take home with them to ink up and it's been giving me a lot of joy seeing everyone this week, all of our team members actually coming in with their pens newly inked up right, right, and right, yeah. you know Everyone's writing notes colors, yeah. yeah everybody's using the home pen or whatever <laughs> pen it is and um, so yeah be I don't know, maybe it'll bring you some joy like it does to me to know that all of your notes are being written by one of our Yoseka found pens this week, probably. Um, so yeah, that was really, really fun last week yeah. and we had a lot of, uh, we had a lot of merry times all together. Fun, yeah. Yes. Um, other than that, in terms of kind of things coming up this week, um, we do have a bit of an announcement. We have, I, I can't say anything too much yeah. because the news is not out yet, right. but we are excited to announce that our final collaboration oh. of the year. Final? The final countdown to the final, final collaboration. Yeah, okay. final. Um, is going to be coming out this week. Yeah. And it's a good one. Um, I have dropped hints in the past few months. Oh yeah? Okay. I have. Yeah. Like I kind of showed part of the design mm -hmm. before. Yeah. Um, so if you've been paying attention, you might not be that surprised. But it's a good one. It's a juicy one. We're excited. Um, and you'll just have to stay tuned for yeah. for the announcements. Just don't sleep this week and you won't miss anything. <laughs> <laughs> when is it coming out? Can I say Thursday? I think you say that. Okay, okay, okay. It's yeah. gonna be October 26th. Yeah. So, um, yeah, October 26th. Look out for some very exciting news from Yoseka and uh, one of our favorite brands. Yeah. Yeah. So, that is happening. And then um, last week, actually, we received, where is it? Oh, we received these guys. Our oh, ink yeah. Bands. Yeah, ink bands. Yeah. yeah, look at that. This is another thing that happened last week. Um, so for those of you who don't know, Inkvent is made by Diamine yeah. and it's an advent calendar for December. So 25 different days of inks. Yeah. Um, you basically, there's little, there's little windows and little numbers with perforations. So this is number one, for example, and you would punch in the perforations here. And as you punch out the perforation, you open the little door on a, like a sliding hinge and an ink color is revealed for that day. So you get 25 days of sort of surprise ink colors. Yeah. Some of them are, they're all very like festive, very like 
holiday spirit. Some of the past names are like um, Seasons Greetings. Ho, ho, ho. Ho, ho, ho. Winter Miracle. So, Jack Frost. Yeah, I don't know how they, like, how are they going to keep thinking of these? Like, yeah, they yeah. need to think of, this is now the third year that they've done it. Uh, no. Wait, more? There was a blue one, red one, green one. This oh, one is this is the fourth year. This yeah, is the fourth, fourth year. Fourth year. So, so this, these are the, the hundred. Hundred names. Hundred names. Yeah. Wow. So hundred names. on that team needs to be so creative. That's right. We can only do one pen a year. <laughs> Think about one We're spent. We yeah. have we have no more ideas. <laughs> yeah. Someone think about hundred names. Yeah, that's impressive. Yeah. yeah, whoever you are, we appreciate you, um, and we're looking forward to this year's ink vent. We yeah. did a little story of these, and we showed some of the colors, and some people did get no, a little upset. We, we didn't show not the colors. We, we just show showed the colors. the colors of the ink bottles right, in a right. zoomed out shot. But some people were like, "This is spoilers," and they were really mad. <laughs> About sorry. It. I'm so yeah. sorry. Because you can open, you can actually open it and you just pull the whole thing out. Right. Yeah. Right. Right. So Neil took a little shortcut for the, Not for the shortcut. unboxing. Everyone was interested. Everyone, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah. It's because May was picking out inks. And you just wanted her to have all her options. Yeah. Um, okay. So we have that to look forward to in just pretty much like one short month is when the ink fence gonna start, right? Mm, so wow. it's crazy. It's crazy. Yeah. And you know, last week we were talking about like, is it too early to get ready for Christmas and stuff? And a lot yeah. of you guys in the comments said no. Um, one person even said that they are, they, they're they done with all of their Christmas shopping oh, by yeah. Thanksgiving. By Thanksgiving. And yeah. I was saying, I don't start thinking about Christmas by Thanksgiving. She was saying she's done with her shopping by Thanksgiving. And yeah. once Thanksgiving comes, that's when she starts like decorating her home, oh. like writing the cards, like, cause that actually also takes a lot of time too. That's true. So it's, it's time, I guess. Yeah, it's, it's time. time. Yeah. Um, all right, so that was last week. And then other than that, we have some newly added stationery on the table in front of us. Dun, da, da, da. A lot. A lot of stuff. It is a, a bounty, a bounty of newly added stationery. I'll start here with these really, really cute Eric Small Things schedule icon stamps. These are, um, they come in this format, so it's like this vertical, like very pen-shaped kind of shape. Yeah. Um, and then you actually, un you twist to open and unlock the stamp design here, under. And they have, they're self-inking, so you don't need to use them with an ink pad. You have like four different colors of stamps. And these are really, really nice, as you can see, for planning. Um, I love the motifs. I like this one a lot. This one is called Refresh, and it has like coffee, cake, mm. a little letter, <coughs> and a little strawberry. So these are so cute, perfect for planning, and I love the I love the fun way to use them. Can you make a very long one by combining all of them together? <laughs> Why did you have to ask me a question? I don't know. I don't know. I, I'm sure you probably can. Yeah. Well, you, yeah, you yeah. can actually get... Because you can like you switch know. up the order, I guess, right? Right. Like, and then you can combine this one with that one. There you go. I switched up the order. So yeah, you can... They kind of interlock with each other. So you could make a really long one. That's a great question, actually. Fine. Thank you. Fine. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give it to you. Um, yeah, you can make a really long one and then like, yeah, like I said, like they're pen shaped so they kind of fit into your pen case mm -hmm. um, and you can bring them around with you and you can't really do that with a lot of stamps. Yeah, that's cute. Yeah. Other than that, we have some very fun new pens here. Wow. These are by Pentel. <laughs> Wow. They are the Pentel Matte Hop Pens. Um, so these come both individually, but also in these little sets. So you have the individual colors here, a lot of them. I think there's like 14 colors total. And these are basically a new version of the Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid gel pens yeah. that are so popular in our store. It's funny, like, if I get a question, if I get an email from a customer about like, well, I got an ink, I got a note written with this yeah. really amazing ink. Right. 
And people think it's a fountain pen ink, right? It's yeah. like a shimmer ink, but it's yeah, not. It's, it's not. actually the Pentel Dual Metallic Hybrid. <laughs> I guarantee you, yeah. nine out of ten times, <laughs> it is. And our team members are in love with them because yeah. they are so beautiful. Right. Um, so. Those are really popular, really, really great fun pens. And these are a new version. Um, these are just single color, very pigmented paint-like colors. I'll show you, look at this stunning ink guide that Ashley made, this color guide. Yeah. Um, so these inks are very vivid colors. They work on white paper, black paper, they work on washi paper, and when they dry, like I hope you guys can see, they are like paint. These are so fun, and they're 1.0 millimeter, so they're really thick and juicy too. Same yeah. as all the other Pentel Dual Metallic series. Um, so check these out, so much fun. And I feel like they'd be like really fun for, for drawing and doodling stuff too. I read the article from um, Pentel, yeah. where the person talks about how as an adult, you don't really have a lot of time to use like colorful pens. Mm. Yeah, so it's kind of fun to get, like re-experience like all different kind of colors. Unless you work at a stationery store. Oh, right. <laughs> <laughs> I can't relate to that, but <laughs> I never use black ink. <laughs> but, <laughs> um, but yeah, these are definitely going to be a lot of fun to use yeah. for adults and children and teenagers mm -hmm. for all ages. Mm -hmm. Next up, we have some fountain pens to talk about. Um, pen. Yeah. These on the tray here are two fountain pens that we added this week along with a limited ink. And I'll talk about this Sailor pen first and this ink. So um, for the past few years, Sailor has, around the holiday season time, released limited edition pens based on the different tea traditions around yeah. the world. In past years, they've done the Swedish tradition of uh, Fika and Holland Grata. Yeah. And then they've also featured, last year they did Christmas uh, spice tea. Mm -hmm. And um, every year they come up with limited pens based on the colors of those teas and the traditions around the tea right. um, as well as a limited ink in a really really cute little packaged bottle yeah. based on um, the tradition so this year's tradition that sailors highlighting for the tea time yeah. is the Moroccan spice tea mm. um, and there's two pens actually so this one is called Kissan, uh, K-I-S-S-A-N, Kissan, um, and it's based on the Moroccan tea tradition of Moroccan mint tea. Mm. So um, this color is like this clear red and this really, really nice like beige gray on the body. Um, the, this pen is based on the actual cups that the uh, Moroccan tea is usually served in. And then the other pen, which we're sold out of, yeah. <laughs> um, is so beautiful. And it has like a yellow barrel um, with transparent parts of it as well. Mm -hmm. um, and that one is based on the tea pot that the Moroccan tea is served out of. And then this is the actual tea ink called, uh, it's just called Tea Time, and it's called Moroccan Mint Tea. And then um, I thought I would do a little writing sample. Ooh. I haven't seen this color, have you? No, I haven't, yeah. I haven't tried them. Yeah. So, I've got my Fonte dip pen over here. Do you know, this is the third year? Yeah. Oh, third year. Yeah. And before this, it was the Taylor cocktail series. Right, this is like, this is like because the cocktail series ended. Yeah, they did 10 years of cocktail. Ooh, look at that. A little mustard. Mustardy, kind of golden. That's nice. Moroccan mint tea. Mm. I like that. Cool. Okay, it, I guess it's like very, very, it's actually very much like that tea color. I was looking up the photos of the tea mm. and it does really look like that. So that's really cool, really beautiful. So that's tea time, Sailor Tea Time. And 
The next pen that was on this tray here is a Pilot Vanishing Point. This is a special, special release that is for Pilot Vanishing Point's 60th anniversary. Right. So 2023 is the 60th anniversary of Pilot Vanishing Point, which is one of our favorite fountain pens. Mm -hmm. And it was first released in 1963, as you can guess. Um, and 60 is a big deal. Yeah, it is a big deal. Yeah, you were talking about that last week. <laughs> in the uh, traditional Asian calendar, mm. you have this like, sort of like this 12, um, 12... Zodiac. 12 Zodiac, and then you count a, another count, kind of like A, B, C, D, but it's like 10 counts. Oh. Um, so you have like 10 of them times 12, gives you 120 uh -huh. and then with the right combination uh, you pick out like 60 of them and that's how you do the year so for example yes. so a a and year of mouse uh -huh. so a mouse mm -hmm. b rabbit mm -hmm. c dragon right, right, right. so um the the of the 112 combination you actually pick out 60 um, and I, I don't know how that's selected, but it's 60 of them. Oh. Um, so 60 are selected. And so the 10 kind of roughly represent to um, like the five metal. And the 12 kind of roughly represent to like the, the zodiac. Mm -hmm. Right. Also the hours of the day. Mm -hmm. um, so the days is break, broken down to like 12 segments. So um, when this year one, you have a two characters that describe year one, mm -hmm. and next time it comes back to the same thing, it's gonna be year 60 six years. Yeah, six years from yeah. now. So in the old time, it's very hard for you to see it comes back again. So if you're born in year one. Because people didn't live that long. Right, right. Um, if you come back to see it again, that means like, oh, it's a good celebration. It's almost like a, a cycle. Oh. Um, because the calendar literally goes in a cycle. Yeah. In a circle. Yeah. So it's like, almost like life. So every Comes 60 back. years, it's like a reset <clears throat> for that cycle. Right. Um, so it's a big deal for you to be able to see that reset um, right. to the same. Right. So on the calendar, it literally just looks like you're coming back to going back to rebirth into your new life. Mm -hmm. So on the year 60, it means something. It means like you're long living. Um, like it's the, your wisdom you know yay the vanishing um, point has long lived long yeah, live long the vanishing <laughs> point <laughs> <laughs> so that uh, comreki yeah. so comreki means like the the uh, the full circle coming oh, in 60 years wow <clears throat> yeah oh really long live the vanishing point <clears throat> um so these are also serialized there are 20 23 of them produced just like the yearly uh, there's a yearly limited edition vanishing point yeah. and this is 2023 um, So that's why it's there's 2023 of them um, And then uh, it also happens to say uh, engraved on the band right here 60th anniversary So it's kind of like a commemorative fountain pen. We right. love the we love the vanishing point um, so oh and then it comes with it's it's matte black in the trim sections, so it's a matte black nib. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's a black nib, not matte black. So yeah, those are the new fountain pens. Some really good options this week to choose from. Thank That's you for cool. explaining the sixty to us. You're welcome. You know yes. what else is sixty? <laughs> sixty minutes in an hour. <laughs> 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 I don't think it's a coincidence. I don't. Wait. What? What? I, I don't thought think you said I don't think it's connected. What I don't think it's a coincidence. About? Like, okay. there's 24 hours, and then it's 12. In in China, uh, it's broken down to 12. Hmm. Um, yeah, I don't think it's a coincidence. There's like some way that everyone kind of figured out in different parts of the world wow. that it should be 12, and it should be like somewhat huh. multiple of five. This is like some Da Vinci Code <laughs> stuff. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm Very sure someone, cool. I'm sure someone has studied it. Then, uh, last but not least, for newly added stationery, we have the. Da -da -da -da. Speaking of Asian calendars, um, we have uh, these standing calendars in lots of different animals. Very cute. 
very cute, but this one I'm showing you is the dragon calendar. Uh, it comes with a stand that yeah. separate, se separates, um, and then you just kind of prop it up on your desk like that. Um, it stands on the stand, and then every month you flip to a new month, and it's very festive. 2024 is the year of the dragon. So we see a lot of, we're going to see a lot of dragon motifs mm -hmm. in the stationery. And we've already begun to see that with the Hobonichi stuff. Mm -hmm. um, so, so this is the dragon one, which I think is my favorite. They've done a good job of making the dragon cute. Yeah. Right? Yeah, that's true. With yeah. like the foil details yeah. and stuff like that. And they're getting chubby. They get chubby, I think it's like it's like a, a dragon who loves to eat. Um, and then these are all the other animals. How cute. So cute. I love the twin pandas, right? Yeah. Isn't that really cute? Um, so we had these last year and we actually had like a gigantic life-sized cat one right. that our good friend Susan requested us to bring back this year, but unfortunately we couldn't find it. The only larger one we could find was this one. Right. It's <laughs> right? Not, not as big. Not as big. Yeah. See, it's pretty small actually. Um, but I like the dragon. Yeah. I like the dragon. Okay. So hopefully these will bring you a little bit of joy in your deskscape throughout 2024. Okay, so that's about it for the newly added stationery for this week. We have some exciting stationery, really cute and fun, yeah. and really exciting fountain pens. I'm a big fan of these tea, these tea series by Sailor that they come out with every year. Yeah. Um, moving on, we have our new segment that we introduced last week called Ask Yoseka Anything. And I really wanna thank you all for emailing us with your questions, commenting with your questions. I got some really good questions. So even though I'm only picking one per episode, that yeah. doesn't mean I won't get to one of your questions in a future episode and please do continue to comment with your questions um, this week's question has to do with Midori planners we had a question submitted by customer Yair and yeah. she got the Midori Hibino which is this planner here this planner was introduced last year in 2023 yeah. by Midori it's it caused quite a stir in the planner community taking the world by storm taking the world by storm two pages per day as you can imagine that results in quite a thick planner right. um and so the paper used is tomoe river paper right. but even with that paper being thinner it's quite a thick planner this is the md one day one page planner which is already a pretty thick planner yeah. but the hibino is thicker so yair got this planner the hibino which is a really popular great yeah. planner this is twice as many pages as that one. twice the, right right this yeah. is two pages per day this is one page per day right but actually it's not that much it's not like double right right, right yeah right. but it is yeah. thicker so Yair and many of you have gotten the Hibino and many of you have gotten the one day one page right. and a really, really common question I get about these planners is what cover can I use with the planner? Yeah. Um, first, I will say like you can get away with no plan with no cover for yeah. these. They come with this kind of plastic um, like Pleather. pleathery cover is like and so if it gets a little bit dirty like this one you can definitely even wipe stuff off yeah. um this one too is kind of sturdy so it's not like a it's not leather it's not paper it can probably do pretty well without a planner that being a, without a cover that being said they are soft and you're going to be using them for the whole year so i understand the question mm -hmm. so in my investigations, and these are all Hobonichi covers that no, you're investigating. No, oh, okay, wow. Do <laughs> I really investigated. <laughs> you did homework. In my investigation, these are all the covers that I tried. Yeah. Um, they're mostly Hobonichi, <laughs> but I also threw in TSL covers. Okay. Okay. Yeah. So these are all the covers that I tried on. 
and my first my first thought was the Hobonichi five year covers because you think that these would fit the thicker planners because yeah. it's meant for a thicker planner. Right. Um, so to answer, unfortunately, the Hobonichi five year cover actually does not fit around oh, no. does not fit around the Hibino because you see it's like very perfect. Um, so if you get it in there, it does not close and it actually bends. So it does not fit. Um, the only cover that works out of the covers that we have for the Hibino is actually this Hobonichi A6 single color mare mm. cover. And even this one, it's pretty tight. So I'll show you guys. So this is the A6 single color cover. This is the Hibino. And you can see it goes in there and you can actually get it into this back. And you can actually zip it closed. Mm. Like that. So it fits in there, but it's pretty tight. Yeah. So this will work if you don't mind a pretty tight fit, but, but you really want to put cover. everything else in there. Yeah, and but also like, you, I think you can still put some stuff in here, in the pockets. Mm -hmm. Yeah, you Up can here, still put. You cannot put anything, it's gonna be too full. That's true, you probably wouldn't be able to make like full use out of this cover. Yeah. Um, but if you really, really are looking for a cover for your Hibino, this is the one I would yeah. say out of everything that we have, if you don't mind a tight, tight fit. Um, it's not perfect though. So that is my answer. And you can also use it. The thing that's cool about these is that you can just use it like this. Like, hmm. you can yeah. just use it like that. Um, okay. And then moving on to my investigations about the MD One Day One Page, yeah. this one actually fits in all the Hobonichi five year covers. Wow. Yeah. So if like if you do want to use this with a cover, I have the Hobonichi five year cover. This is the natural. This is the red leather one. This is like the reflect leather one. Oh, not leather, sorry. Um, this will actually fit in here. And it, it fits quite well, actually. <laughs> it's one of those things where like you try it on and oh, this is so good that it makes me want it. <laughs> it fits quite well, wow. like that, right? That looks great. There's your answer for the MD One Day One Page. You can use any Hobonichi five-year cover. Um, for the Midori Hibino, unfortunately, the MD uh, the, uh, for the Midori Hibino, unfortunately, the Hobonichi five year covers will not fit. I also tried these TSL covers mm. that are so cute, and these definitely don't fit either because these are made for a smaller notebook. Mm. Um, so yeah, there's your answer. I hope that was helpful for all of you uh, people who have purchased the Hibino and are thinking about using it for next year. And do leave us uh, a comment with more questions in, in, the, in the comment for Ask Yosaka Anything. Yeah, how do you pick uh, the questions? I looked at all of them yeah. and I kind of, some questions um, that are very specific, yeah. I actually just answered right there. Uh -huh. Because I, for this, I feel like um, I'm trying to pick questions that like I've heard more than once, mm -hmm. um, that might be relevant to like people in general. Um, if that makes sense. So I had like some people ask, actually a lot of people want to know what planner you use. <laughs> but I didn't want to put you on the spot, so I just answered them. Uh, I just answered them. Uh, um, what's the answer though? <laughs> now that we're bringing this up. <laughs> I'm using Hobonichi A5 Day Free. Yeah, yeah. that's what I said. I said um, Neil has used mostly Hobonichi planners. He's yeah. used the cousin. Mm -hmm. He uses Day Free right now. Yeah. But next year, I've been telling people you've just been thinking about moving to a notebook, so maybe the plain notebook. Right. This year, I also tried like a Hobonichi. You know, the tiny weeks. Oh, the tiny weekly insert. Yeah, I also tried um, with a um, Hobonichi Weeks, I actually tried Hobonichi Weeks, 
I also tried Amidori, the business diary that's very thin. Wow. It was like a, oh. This is the inside my planner that nobody <laughs> knew about. Like, <laughs> you've oh. all, you almost had as many planners as Amy to start the year. <laughs> I tried those three things, but it, they didn't work out. Mm -hmm. <clears throat> yeah. Um, because Neil really uses, he doesn't really use a planner. He uses it to make to-do lists, which is why he really just needs a notebook. He doesn't have like, and he doesn't have like, like he doesn't write down his appointments and things like that, right? You don't really use it for that. Right, right, right. I, I write down my to-dos. That's how I started using Hobonichi because um, I, I use it to prioritize my days. Mm -hmm. um, so if I write down five things, I make sure to actually do those five things. Mm -hmm. um, but when the list started growing, um, so I do, I find myself motivated to like copy one to do to the next day mm -hmm. and try to finish it. Um, and I also jot down like, you know, three things I appreciate of the day sometime. Um, but over the time, you know, when I start copying too much stuff over, um, that actually I find myself getting demotivated mm. to do. Yeah. It's also motivating to just cross out everything. Right, right, right. But also sometimes the list just grows so big. Yeah. That it's beyond that page. Um, so... Um, you do a lot at Yuseka. <laughs> so we kind of move into digitally. Yeah, the to -do, right, right. To-dos has to go digitally and then getting tracked somewhere else. Because it's um, me, like our to-do, your to-dos have grown past just beyond the day, right? right like right, they're right. mainly for the week and things like that. So, yeah, so yeah. Then I started doing uh, day free because then I use it to break down like projects, mm -hmm. right? And then the day free pages start turning into, I can now do to-dos mm -hmm. and I don't have to copy and paste anymore because it's day free. <laughs> so I actually just cross it out. Copy and paste. <laughs> it's not copy and paste, it's rewriting. Re <laughs> <laughs> um, and, and then I find myself using the extra space to say brainstorm different things. So I write down ideas. Mm -hmm. um, so when I have like, you know, say a meeting with like someone, and I have some ideas I write down mm. and I kind of like kind of whiteboard a little bit yeah. on, on there. Yeah. Um, <clears throat> so I do still want the monthly part mm -hmm. because that part still helps me to imagine you know, the, the timeline um, up front. So maybe you should just stick with the day free. Right, right, right. I might, I might. Yeah, yeah I might. Hmm. Okay. I haven't, I haven't decided. Yeah. All right. Okay. Okay. Thank you. Thank you. Ask Yosaka anything. <laughs> oh, that's, wait, that's two questions. We yeah. answered two questions. Oops. Oops. <laughs> <laughs> we have to cut your answer out. <laughs> so other than that, we had a great week in the store. And I want to give a shout out to uh, Bet Ann and Nikki, who visited us oh. last week in the store. And they are, Bet Ann is an online customer who's mm. been shopping with us for some time. Um, it's not every day you see a Bet Ann. You know, that's a unique name, so I've always remembered her name. And she visited the store last week, and she spent a lot of time with Alex, and Alex just said the most wonderful things about her. So, Bet Ann, thank you for coming to the store with Nikki and hanging out with Alex. And um, you also met our newest member, Laura, who um, you all will be hearing more about soon. So, thank you all. Thank you for coming. Um, and we have uh, some more people visiting us this this week and uh, next week that we're excited to share with you all oh that's you know right have some guests? <laughs> oh, special yeah. yeah so so more more news about that soon yeah. um and i think uh i think that's about it for this week's episode of catching up with yosaka stationery i hope you all enjoyed neil's presence on the episode and um enjoyed his little um what? sharing about your plan. I think no, people are, I always get questions oh. about your planner. Oh, it's um, because I don't share much. Well, yeah. yeah, because you don't come on, you don't like come on the YouTube channel that often unless Ashley's sick or Jacob's sick. <laughs> <So> <laughs> maybe you'll get Neil all the time now that Jacob's in daycare. Who all knows? Right. But um, yeah, hopefully you all enjoyed hearing about Neil's system and what he's thinking about for next year. Yeah. Would you like to see Neil in inside my, <laughs> not inside my planner. Would you like to see 
Neal in Team Yoseka's planner, like Techo Kaigi this year. Uh, uh. Let us know. Let us know. Uh -huh. um, yeah. Uh, thank you for watching, and we will see you in the next episode. Yeah. Bye. Bye.